Drew Keys here. A George Vesna rookie card from 1911. It's just one of 1,500 pre-Second World War cards in Simon Bork's collection. The set is a testament to a lifetime of scraping and saving that began decades ago. I am a, a passionate collector all my life. Bork says as a child, his family had to sacrifice to feed his addiction for hockey cards. They weren't rich, but that didn't stop him from growing his collection. I was uh, always asking to my mother, my sister, can you give me uh, a dime or a nickel? Now, all those loans from mom appear ready to pay off. Bork is auctioning off a part of his collection, including some of the rarest cards known to exist. Some call this Burt Corbeau from 1924 the holy grail of hockey cards. It was released as part of a contest. At the time, if you got the whole set, the company would send you a pair of hockey skates. If you have the full set, they send you a prize. That's why they just make a few of them because don't, don't, they, they don't want to send a lot of prize. Nowadays, the card is worth way more than a pair of hockey skates. The most recent bid was north of $27,000. The auction house selling Bork's cards estimates the lot will go for more than $2 million. They're uh, the highest graded version of each and every card known to exist. Uh, so that's where uh, the uniqueness of this collection comes in is the fact that uh, you will never find uh, a card in better condition. And for Bork, he admits that letting go of the collection wasn't an easy decision to take. But there's just no challenge left. The collection is complete. It's like my job My job is done. But this isn't the end of his days as a collector. Bork says he plans to use the money from the cards to start a new collection. He's not sure what, but he promises, like the hockey cards, it will be uniquely Canadian. Douglas Gallivan, CBC News, Montreal.